My name is Dejean Edward, and this is the Uplift with Dej, where we'll be having thought-provoking and fun conversations, discussing topics such as God's love, His power and authority, family, romance, finances, and culture, just to name a few. The goal here is to make you laugh, cry tears of joy, reflect, but most importantly, uplift and speak life into you. So, since you're here, grab a seat and enjoy. Mm -hmm. I can only speak for my world Where almost everyone has what they need Other nations live with sickness But over here we die from jealousy Cause it makes you chase what's not meant to be chased Cause you've carried it all along It comes to steal And hide what is real Comparison kills Hey guys, this is The Uplift with Dej And I have my beautiful friend Jenna with me Hello (laughs) We are going to get into some things After we do a quick prayer All right Lord, I come before you, Father God. I thank you so much for an amazing evening. I pray, God, that this conversation blesses not only us, but whoever is watching. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Oh, now, now, how you feeling, baby? I'm good. How are you? So happy to be on Uplift with Day. Oh, uplift. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to have you because this has been a long time coming. We've been talking about this for a minute. This is very true. <laughs> All right, so today, well, before we even get into it, introduce yourself because I was about to get real comfortable. But... Right. <laughs> <laughs> like... Hi, everyone. My name is Janelle, um, and my platform online is geared toward women and girls uplifting them through faith, inspiration, and beauty, and I do that through telling my story. So you can find me on all social media platforms as Janelle V. Boyd. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I even have a website. I also have a YouTube. Everything. So if you feeling me in this Everything. joint, come follow me on my social media oh, they platform. Feel I want to get to know you. Yes. They feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, and to just piggyback off of Janelle, you are just gonna love her because she just Aww. has a warm spirit she's such a sunshine if i could think of a better word i don't I, I guess i would but sunshine is the word that i come up with and you will be encouraged even if it's 30 seconds <laughs> you <laughs> <won't be> good. <laughs> you <feel good. laughs> so i'm so happy to have you babe um today obviously i played that song and i played it intentionally because it is called comparison kills and i want us to focus on um how comparison does kill um and right now we're living in a time where um we're living in the era of the verses you know mm, like, that's good the verses era right now okay um one thing i do love about the verses era is that they're not really pushing towards like breaking down their opponent it's more so like let's uplift each other through music type of thing right so i like that because they make it very clear but the verses that i'm talking about is real life competition like Everyone is competing. Everyone is comparing themselves to the next person. Um, Social media, we're consumed by it. We're constantly comparing where we're at versus where someone else is at. Um, And it could be in any way. It can be in the form of maybe our gifts, our achievements, sometimes even physical attributes. We are just constantly um, comparing ourselves to others so i guess we can open up by just discussing maybe a time where we probably caught ourselves you know just kind of like getting consumed by maybe negative thoughts or just you know just looking at other people and just saying oh man like why i'm not there why i'm not doing that you know right so i started off um (laughs) yeah girl (laughs) i think i go through this often um it is something that I find to be quite challenging because I spend a lot of time on social media because that is where my audience is. So I find that there are other influencers that I follow and I get inspiration from them. And I think that seeing other people and getting inspiration is cool. But when you start to like, if you say compare yourself to them, it brings on sadness and sometimes depression and you start to think i'm not enough i'm falling behind and i need to catch up 
But what I realized is it takes you off track from the focus that you had. Mm-hmm. When I'm looking at what you're doing and comparing your, myself to you, I'm not working on me. Mm-hmm. Now I'm allowing my focus to change and I'm working on making myself feel bad by comparing myself. Right. And I'm not actually making progress. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think a big thing is that life is about how you feel. Right. Like that's, if, if, if I'm working and I'm feeling good about my life, it really doesn't matter where I'm at or what I'm doing that I feel good about it. Cause there've been times where I've had exactly what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Like I remember I was graduating college. I, you know, had money in the bank. I had the boyfriend at the time. Like everything I had really wanted, I was losing weight. Like I was winning. Yeah. I didn't feel good. Mm. So I found myself crying, like, Lord, help me. Mm-hmm. And I had everything that I wanted. And I was, you know, in a space where when your friends hear about you, you're like, yes, I'm doing yes. it. Yes. But I'm not feeling good inside. Not feeling it. Mm-hmm. So it's really about how I feel. I feel good about my life. So I'm happy day to day. And then I don't care what you're doing because you could have that and not feel good like me. Right. And so that's what I try to like redirect my focus when I get into those moments on social media, when I'm seeing girls who I'm like, oh, I want my life to be like that. Right. And I'm like, God, let me just enjoy what I have now as I work toward that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You an amazing point just now. And you just allowed me to rem- like, honestly have my own like a reflection as you were talking because like you said if you're too busy focused on the next person you're not focused on your own blessings and what you do have you're focused on what you don't have and it stops you from even being able to give thanks to yeah. grow because now you're just focusing on that person and you're stunting your own growth because your mind is in the wrong place um yeah. and also i don't want to say all the time but nine times out of ten right when we um, look at someone else and say, well, you know, or just kind of like, I don't know, even if it's envy, whatever, or just kind of desire what they have, or even just compare. Honestly, what we don't tend to do is um, think about the amount of hard work that they put in, you know? Mm, that's no, true. Like, we kind of just see the wins. And we don't see the struggles and what the person went through. So we just want to jump on that wave and we think it's just easy and it's not always that easy, right? And you can get there too, so long as you put in the same hard work. Yeah. Um, and also too, we, we don't realize that sometimes we're comparing or whatever and that person that you're comparing to is not really showing you the downside of things. Come on, Yeah. You're only seeing the ups. You're not really seeing the sleepless nights. You're not really seeing that there's no real joy behind that or there's no real peace of mind. While you're you're peace, you're at peace, you're sleeping well at night. You're not talking and turning. You know, you may not have the money yet, but you have sanity, you know? So again, it goes back to not paying attention to what you do have, but focusing. What reminds me of, someone said this before, that your social media is your highlight reel. Mm. it is it is all the great things about your life and not all the in-betweens i don't know if you've ever seen this meme i'm sure you have when it was like when i when i took the picture and then when i'm looking at it and you're, <laughs> you know your hair looking crazy you know makeup them all looking crusty like that's how i am most of the time but every time i present myself to you mm. i'm all put together i'm hitting the right angles mm-hmm. but like you said the right thing like there's a price to be paid mm-hmm. for where that person is and right. sometimes you're not willing to, to pay that cost. Like sometimes for something that people do, I'm sorry, I wouldn't pay for that. Right. And that's why you are where you are and I am where I'm at. But there are certain things that I'm willing to put in for that other people may not. And so when you see it before you say, I want that, count the cost, do you really? Right. You know? Right. And that is so true. But I think this is something that it, comparison is the thief of joy. Oh, yes. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> it just takes away those happy moments. Yeah. There are times where I'm on top of the world, Dej, mm-hmm. and then I scroll just a little too long, mm. and all of a sudden, I'm You're down in the dumps. <laughs> and I'm like, You're how did I get it. here? <laughs> You were just so, like, you were just on a high. You were just yes. hyped up, and then you're like, not doing it. Right, that. because I'm feeling like I'm not enough. And I heard this quote, too. It says, you have to be like a flower, right? When a flower blooms, it doesn't think about the the, the flower next to it. It mm-hmm. just blooms at whatever pace it does. Like, mm-hmm. you just, 
enjoy every moment and allow yourself to blossom at its own rate. Yeah. And yeah. To, um, to piggyback off of you, um, not only is it the thief of joy, because we're talking about comparison kills, it kills your joy. It kills your dreams because you might, end yes. up, you, can't, you might lose your, your whole motivation. Like you might not even be fired up like you were. You yes. Know? So it'll kill your joy. It'll kill your dreams. It'll kill your peace of mind. Cause you know, it'll kill your self-esteem because now you're mm -hmm. feeling then you're feeling unworthy. Now you're questioning your whole purpose. You're questioning your calling. You're questioning. Yes. <laughs> like it could really get you down in the dumps for real. So, so I, I, I love that you just said that it is the thief of joy. It's the thief of your whole purpose at the end of the day. Right. And I think uh, a big thing, too, is perspective. And that's what we've been talking about here is, like, viewing it from the right vantage point. Because sometimes you, you feel like you're behind schedule because the where God wants to take you is a little higher than where that person is. And in order to go up, you got to go deeper, right? Come on here. You got to dig somebody. down before you can go up. If you yes. think about big buildings, like they have to dig a bigger hole and go down more so that when it is built up, it can support it. Mm -hmm. And some, and in that digging down for us, you know, sometimes God is building that character. Mm -hmm. So you can handle the eyes, you can handle the pressure, mm -hmm. you can handle the money, you can handle all of that. And it's a time when there's no one around. People don't understand, there's nothing to see, but God is like digging in you and building character and building you up. Yes. And so you can't go to comparison. Maybe they are one story building. Mm. And so yeah, they're up and people can see them, but God's like, I'm not done with you yet because I'm taking you higher yes. than you even understand. Mm. So it was like just being patient with your process mm. and saying, Lord, I trust you and what's happening and I'm not going to fight this. I'm just going to enjoy where I'm at and continue to grow. Yes. And I love that you went there because I was just going to say, what are some tips that you think we can share with people on um, not letting their mind go into a negative place when they see someone else's life, maybe somewhere they thought they wanted to be or with somewhere that they thought they should have been by now. And you already started by saying, trust your process. Trust yeah. Your process and know that your calling is probably a little deeper. It's probably a little, it goes a little further. It's a little more depth. It's not on the surface. Like, so and so so that's beautiful you you you're right on track with where i wanted to go with it because um, yes. i feel like naturally our mind goes to a negative place but if we can counteract that by just knowing who god is knowing yes. trusting god's word over our life trusting his plans trusting the process like you said and one more thing that we can do to stop our minds from going so negative all the time and we've spoken about this before Mm -hmm. we, could get, we could get motivated by seeing these things instead of like yes. being down in the dumps let it fire you up to like be like you because if god can do it for them he can do it for you right <laughs> like, i don't respect the person <laughs> you feel like that's proof oh sis just accomplished it's my turn it's coming <laughs> and that's that that's what honestly that's where my mind goes all the time if i see something lit i'm like oh my gosh that's popping like Oh my gosh, that's lit. And my mind is like, yo, I want to learn. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to get closer yeah. to the person and understand, you know what I'm saying? Grow from them and, you know, just look at, look at their growth, watch their lives, understand, you know, cause in people's mm -hmm. lives, they'll share tips, they'll share things, you know? So you'll watch that person's lives and you, you'll learn a thing or two, you know, instead of letting your mind just go negative, that whole yeah. thing, that person could be a blessing for you instead of letting Come it on. get you into depression or get you yeah. into a place of doubt. Yes. I said, look at it as a catalog. Mm. When life shows somebody what they're saying, do you want that? Mm. Yes, I do. I like that. So when I see somebody winning, oh, that's a catalog. I want that. Put that in the cart. Yes. We're going to cash out. Yes. You know? You window I shopping. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, you, you, talk, you started talking about the mind, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where it's at. And I was telling somebody this the other day, is that the, if you're, the way you feel your thoughts aren't automatic. Mm -hmm. They knock on the door of your mind and say, can I come in? Mm -hmm. And you always have the option to open the door. Now, sometimes they have, they come with reason. Listen, I want to come in. Sadness is the knock. I want to, I want to make you, you know, feel bad. I, here's a comparison. Sis got money. Sis got the husband. You don't, you, you messed up here. You messed up here. And for that reason, I want to stay here for a couple days with you. But the thing is that you can say no without any additional reason. 
Like if somebody knocks on the door of my home, a homeless man knocks on and says, hey, I'm hungry, I'm cold. These are the reasons why you should let me stay. I can just not open the door and be like, leave. Right. And the thing is that we feel like we have to justify mm -hmm. why we shouldn't feel bad about our lives or when the comparison comes, you're like, but I mean, it is true. She is doing that. And I'm not, I'm so sorry. I don't care how great that person is doing and where I'm at. I have decided to be happy and at peace where God has me and believe that it's going to be okay. Yeah. But sometimes that feeling is so strong that you forget I have an option. Yes. I do not have to walk around depressed. I do not have to walk around sad. And I tell you something, mm. I wasn't even going to show these, but you know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Show it, mommy. Show, show it. it. Here, right here are my scriptures. Yes, Lord. Honey, let me do every that morning. Reminder. Show us that Jeremiah. Come 29. on, you want that Jeremiah? Oh, let me go through my. That's good. Good. I, see, I see Jeremiah in the back. Jeremiah 29 and 11. And it reads. Love it. <laughs> For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. Mm, yes. Come on, we serve a God that says, yes. I love this part right here, to give you a future and a hope. Mm. So not to only bless you in your now, but bless you and then still give you hope that I got more for mm. you. Come on, give you, keep giving you the excitement of life. And there's another one that's been speaking to me. Is it? Here we go. Is this one? Oh my God, this one right here. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. I love that. Come on. Like, my favorite part is he said, I will personally, okay, yes. go yes. ahead of you. Go ahead of you. I'm setting the stage for you. Yes. Come on. Yes. But at the same time, I'm right next to you. Yes. And I never abandon you. At the same time. At the same time. You on the Merrick? I'm there already. Right. Come, come on, Merrick. You headed <laughs> to Brooklyn? I already I'm look, there. The traffic is clear. I, I got you. I'm in Brooklyn waiting for you while I'm in the passenger seat. Yes. Oh. Gosh. Come on. So when you start stressing over where you are in your life and how far you haven't gone, you I would suggest write those scriptures. Whatever season you win or whatever scriptures you need, and this is the way I do it. I think about my weaknesses. What is the what is the sensitive what are the triggers that the devil pushes mm. to get me? So to snap me out of where I'm at. And then I find the ammo against it in the word of God. Yes. And then I write it. And before the enemy can use it, I read these first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. I random pick it up. We at my desk while I'm working. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, before I go to sleep, I read it. Because I'm going to keep my spirit, my defense system. I'm calling it your, your spiritual immune system. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. spiritual corona, you're not about Come on, to vitamin C. Come, Come on, vitamin, vitamin C. C. Vitamin B. Come on. Yes, vitamin W, the word. Come on, the Bible. I don't know. But you know what I'm trying to say. But... It's me and the word of God is so powerful. Yeah. And you know, and the truth is we don't, we don't fight with flesh and blood, right? We yeah. fight in principalities right. and the word is a sword and we got to know how to use it to our, our advantage. Mm -hmm. And it's human. Mm -hmm. And then I, I realized like, you know, we shouldn't feel bad about having those moments of weakness, but you got to remind yourself who you are. Oh, hold yeah. up. I, I forgot who I was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a child of God. He yeah. can make plans for me. Okay. For future and a hope. He yes. protected me. I can he go before me. Right. Come on. All things. <laughs> Not some, <laughs> but all. all. So I just got excited in Jesus just now. I just yes. got real high. Because <laughs> you're speaking it into yourself. Like you're speaking life. I, and today was one of those days where I really felt like the enemy started battling me. And I was just like, okay, I got to fight through this. I still have recordings. I still have things I have to do. I still have, you know what I mean? I can't just clock out because I'm not feeling it today. Yes. Um, and I have to push past that. Yeah. So this is just giving me the dose that I needed. I, first of all, all you talking about you. You blessing me and the people them. Okay. Yes. Because <laughs> honestly, that's the biggest tip of them all. The word of God. Okay. That is yes. our biggest weapon to fight back against negative thoughts, against doubt, against yes. dream killers, comparison, whatever it is. That is the biggest weapon right there. So to me, that's the best way to handle that. And yes. you just made an amazing point. Have a moment of self-reflection where you are able to identify your weaknesses. And since you're now aware of what your weaknesses are, like you said, you know how to attack them. 
you know exactly. what you need to attack them. You go into the word, you find like reassurance that will remind you whenever those negative thoughts come to mind, it'll counteract those thoughts. So I exactly. love that so much. Even I'm going to take that as a tip. Okay, girl. And, <laughs> yes. And that's, and you know, I feel like this moment right here is exactly what we're talking about. Um, I love the fact that from the moment I met Janelle, I was just blessed by hearing about her. I didn't even meet her yet. So let me, let me not lie. I didn't even meet her yet. And I was already blessed because Pastor Rich, our pastor from Church City, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, <laughs> he was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing young lady. You got to meet her. Her name's Janelle. You're going to be so blessed by her. Oh, wow. She, she doesn't say, oh my gosh, you're going to love her. Go follow her. And he showed, he pulled up your Instagram and I followed <laughs> you. We didn't even know each other yet. And I followed yes. her. And, and, then, um, and then I met you. I was like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. And, and, and you know, immediately, Immediately, my mind is, wow, I'm blessed by just even being able to, like, we work side by side in, in the youth yes. department. I'm blessed. We actually are friends now. And, it's yes. like, uh, you know, I'm just like, wow, God is good because he's always blessed me and have amazing people around me that I can learn from. And, you know, I can I can only hope that I'm able to be a blessing as well. But, child, when I tell you I'm blessed, okay? <laughs> no, let me tell you, I didn't want to interrupt you, but why <laughs> Pastor Rich said the same thing? You, this girl, Dejean, she came here. And not only was it Pastor Rich, but also your friend Tamara. Yes. She was like, you have to meet my friend Dejean. Jean. oh my god you remind me of her so much she pulled up your instagram look uplift with Dave. and now when i didn't listen to you at the time and it's it's normally people would come to me and talk to me about somebody and sometimes it's all hype you know what i mean i'm right, like right. okay they cool everybody's great you know right but they be hyping it on different levels so i'm like right. okay all right great i'm like everybody's really excited about this girl named dj everybody relax <laughs> So, <laughs> all right, calm down. All right. And then I follow, we followed each other and yeah. I was like, all right, cool. And then I met you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were a light. You, first of all, Diva, she's a glasses <laughs> queen. So okay. Funny. When I want to ask you, you be looking fine. You. All right. And then you were just so sweet. You was giving me all the compliments. You was complimenting each other. And then I really started to dig in. Once I felt your presence and your energy, like I could feel the glory of God just on you. I could just exude like, wow, like Jesus lives in this woman. Like this is fantastic. And then I saw you giving your, your inspiration, your uplift. And I was like, oh, we finna be friends. You don't know it yet. But that's my friend. <laughs> I love so you. Have so been much. such a blessing to me. I'm just so excited about this show. I yeah. know that people are going to just love it so much because yeah. you you are like the best kept secret. And I'm so happy now that you're stepping out because yeah. there are people who are yearning for what you got. Did. I've seen her at. I see her in in in, in action. Okay. And youth service <laughs> preaching. She got the juice, okay? So, funny. so I'm like, it's time. Go forth. <laughs> you are the best, honestly. You're the best. I'm blessed. I'm really blessed to be in Church City. I'm blessed to be around people like you, Steve, Denzel, Pastor Rich. Listen, the list goes on and on and on. Everybody is different in their own way. They bring something different to the table. They anoint you and bless you in a different way. It's just amazing. Like everyone is amazing. And I'm I'm blessed to be around people like you guys like i really am and i'm grateful that you say i bless you too you bless by me <laughs> you know i love you so much you know i'll tell you that every love day you too. um and i'm just grateful that you were able to take the time to join us tonight i was yes. so blessed by this i know everyone watching is going to be blessed by the end of this as well i hope that everyone can leave with some tips on how to negate any type of negativity that comes to their mind and know that god has a plan for you and he's going to prosper you so do not compare yourself because comparison kills i love you janelle thank you for joining love me. you mwah, mwah. <laughs> later guys later Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the show, please stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube, which is The Uplift with Dej, and following us on Instagram, at The Uplift with Dej. Have a blessed day, and see you next Sunday at 6 p.m. Invite a friend.